Hey guys, what's up and uh, welcome back to a new video. So, it's been some time since I have done a, uh, a scratch video and, uh, you know, I just got lost in my shifting and, you know, I've got other stuff to do. Uh, and, yeah, so I just, I just have to, you know, clear up where we are actually and this is a new video. So, if you guys haven't watched the previous videos, then go ahead, watch that. Um, you know, if you're like kind of experienced with the basics, then uh, come here and we will do this together. Now, as far as I can see, I think I did motion. I have done looks. I have, I think I did sound, pen, data, which is the, the basically the variables. Uh, I've done this, loops, sensing, operators, more blocks. Okay. So, um... I think I did sensing as well. Uh, yeah, I did sensing and operators. Yeah. Okay. So in this video, guys, we are going to be making a small game, and uh, this game is going to be a battle board game. Let me just you know show you what battle board game is. Basically, a battle board game. Uh, yeah. Basically, what you have is mobile phone. Uh, this has to be mobile. So basically, in this game, you have a paddle. Oh, there are no good images. All right, that's fine. So you have a paddle over here. Let me get that real quick from a sprite from the sprites menu over here. And this, uh, I actually have another video on this same thing. And that video is actually the most viewed video on my channel. It's like nine hundred views or maybe a thousand right now. Uh, but yeah. So there'll be a paddle over here. So yeah, the paddle. Come on, save changes. Okay, so let me bring that paddle down over here. And as for the backdrop, I'm gonna change that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna remove this XY grid. I'm gonna change it to let's see a backdrop over here. Um, let's choose an interesting one. I don't want something very really boring. Uh, I'll just set set up this. Alright, um, why don't we do something like neon tongue? You want to do that? We can do that. Alright, we can do that. Um, yeah, I think I'll go with that. Alright, this looks cool. Uh, and also, I'm going to delete this normal backdrop here. And I'm going to come to my paddle. Uh, no, I'm going to delete this ball. No, we need a ball. I'm going to come to data. I'm going to delete these three variables. A, B, and C. I'm not going to need them now. Alright. So, let me make this paddle a little bit bigger. I'm just arranging the, slide, uh, the sprites right now because that is probably the first thing that you should do. You know, get all the sprites into play and then carry on with your programming. I'm going to keep this paddle here. Now, basically what I want is when I move my mouse, this paddle goes like this. You know, left and right. But, I don't want it to go up and down. And um, I want it to move wherever my mouse is. So I can do that by doing when the flag is clicked. What um, Y position is that? 1 minus 130. So let us set the Y position of this to not 0. Let us set it to minus 130. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to put a forever loop over here. And I'm going to put set the X position to the sensing uh, mouse set. Okay. So this is what it does. Now basically what this program here is doing. It is setting the Y position of the paddle to. Um, it's setting the Y position of the paddle to whatever. 100 and mi minus 130. And this command here. It's in the, in, inside the forever loop. It's repeating that command forever. So if you see these numbers over here. You know you've got X over here. And you've got Y over here. This is your mouse X and Y. Just see those numbers while my mouse, my, while my mouse moves. Yeah, can you see the X while you change it? Well basically what I've done is. Mouse X is a variable that shows you that value over there. Okay. And I am setting the X value for the paddle to this number over here. Alright. And that's running on forever. That is what I'm doing right over there. Okay, now is uh, 
time for us to animate the ball. Now, what I want the ball to do is I want the ball to come down. So, I want it to come down like this. And then when it hits the paddle, I want it to go up. Uh, I mean, I think you get the idea. Yeah, that's what I want to do. So, I think it's going to move forward forever. So, let us do forever. Um, move forward. 10 steps. Yeah, that, that, that's good. And also, we can do... Um, now, it's on the edge, right? But we want it to go back. How do we do that? We do if on edge bounce all right that's good um but the problem with this is uh, when it bounces it will come straight back up how can i fix that um let me think about that let me make this face in that direction will this work okay all right um so we want the okay um Okay, that's fine. So now you can see that wherever the ball goes, it is bouncing off. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, when we hit the when we hit the ball with the paddle, we want the ball to again bounce. How do we do that? Well, we need to use a sensing command. So let us do if um yeah, let's put an if loop over there and let us put touching. So if you go to sensing and you go touching. The, the paddle we want this to so whenever the ball is touching the paddle we want it to change the direction okay and how much is this how much do you want to change so it's 130 140 degrees and it's facing 140 degrees and we want to go that to that 40 degrees so 100 degrees yeah uh, so we want this. I, I was going to quickly do that and I'll explain everything to you. Um, so we want to turn this by. Uh, is going to turn to that. No, we want to turn like this by a random. Uh, let us do 80 to 120 degrees. Will that work? Is that in party? Um, that works. It has a weird thing going on. How about I change this to a hundred? Will that still work? Okay. Um. It works. I feel like. Does this work? Come on, work. Okay, come on. Hit the paddle. Hit the paddle. Yeah, it does. It does work. Um. I think one hundred twenty is better though. One hundred twenty. Let's make this ninety degrees. Just, I'm just, you know, uh, always when you're working with random numbers, try and uh, try to use different numbers and see what works out the best for you. I think, I think this works out. I think this works out quite good. Okay, that's weird. That's weird. I don't want that happening. Okay, right, yeah, this works. So basically what I'm doing is whenever the ball is touching the paddle, it's going to turn, okay? So it's going to go like, it's coming like this, it's going to turn. Right, so it's going to go in a different direction because move does not change the x or y. It moves the ball in the direction it's facing. That could be x, that could be n x and n y. Okay, um, and here I'm making the ball turn by a random amount. So let's say one time the uh, one time the ball comes like this, it might go here. Okay, another time it might come like this and go here. Okay, so that is random. And you can see that in work, okay? Okay, now we want this ball, if this reaches over here, we want it to uh, game over, basically. So, how we're going to program that is if uh, the y is equal to, okay. So, if this is the, the lowest position of the y-axis is minus 180. So, if I put a, an if a loop, Sorry, and yeah, command if and I put is less than and I go for um, I go to x if the y position is less than my oh no, let me make this equal to if the y position is equal to 
minus 180 degrees then stop all right okay does that work so you know i'm playing with my turtle i'm playing and it should it should um is equal to okay let me just check this so just check the y position here oh it's never reaching one minus 180 so let's make this minus how much is it reaching let's see it's reaching it's coming to over here that's minus 160 let's make that if it's equal to it's if it's equal to minus 160 degrees That still doesn't work. Are you kidding me? Uh, make that minus 150. And let me make this less than. Um, if the y position is less than minus 150. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That works. So basically, uh, this line over here, this position here is one, line minus 150. And whenever the y position of the ball goes lower than this number here, which is minus 150, it will stop everything you know it'll stop all the actions and yeah that is your basic battle ball game now we, now i think in the next episode we're gonna add something a bit let me just see how long our app is no it's fine uh, anyways yeah so i think i might add another thing so let me create a new sprite and let me label the sprite as uh in let's say a cool font uh, i'm gonna go for donegal game over rec color red game over um, game over yeah and i'm going to make the center over here i'm going to make this absolutely huge if i can which i can't come on yes there we go are you kidding me um let me just do that select and no Say the whole thing. No. What? Guys, this is like a huge glitch. Wow, this is like a this is like a humongous glitch. I, I don't like this when it happens. Um Okay, make this huge. Make the center right over there. Alright? And make this huge as well. Okay, so when the ball goes there. We want game over to keep blinking, and I want might also add some exclamation marks. Okay, and let me make that bigger. What? All right. Okay, I want this to blink. Okay. So when the game is started, I want you to hide. I I don't want to see you. And when I receive message one, let us say, I want to show, and I want to well, forever repeat. I want to hide. I want to show. It's a hide and seek game, people. It's a hide and seek game. And I'm going to make an interval of 0 0.5 seconds. Okay. And when this ball hits, instead of stopping all, I'm going to broadcast a message. Yeah. So when I broadcast this message, this thing. It's gonna blink. It's gonna keep blinking. Oh, and also, um, when this stops, forever. How do I stop this action? Oh yeah, stop. Put a stop. This script. Okay. Stop the script. Okay. So let us try that. If it touches. Okay. Yeah, that does work. But we need another weight over here. Let's make that zero point five. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. So, in today's video, we have covered how to make a paddle ball game. We're going to be adding to this paddle ball game in the in future videos. But it works, and you know, let's say I get I I go out for breakfast and I forget to hit it. Game over. Let us start a new one. Well, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Leave a like down below. It'll really help the channel. And, um, you know, comment if you have any queries ready to scratch. If you have any, you know, um, ideas for games that you want to make. I mean, I was thinking of a computer, maybe. Just, just an idea. Uh, then we could do that together. And, uh, you know, it'll just really 
uh, workout amazing. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.